Hello everyone. So we're in a kind of slightly unusual situation. Um, I have to s transition over to all of my settings for the weekly dig. And I hope that won't make OBS vomit all over my desk. So um, well, I'm going to do that now. So there might be some weird interruption here. I may have to like restart the stream, but we'll be back in a moment. So we're going to see what happens here. Three, two, one. We managed that. I think that transition actually happened, which is pretty darn awesome. I need to Sweet. switch over the the lower chat. Um, yeah, we, we've got a few things to change here. Um, give me a minute uh, because this is now that. So we should start. Getting, come on, come on, mouse. What's up with you, mouse? That's problematic. Okay, good. That's that. Um, we are going to. Turn that off and switch that off and then switch this over to here. Now let me ask the, the chat, um, how does this sound? Can you hear us? Can you, Can hear, you us? hear John? Can you hear me? Hello my baby, hello my darling, hello my darling oh, my girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing good things on my end. Um, we won't have all the little bubbles to, to, uh, tonight, uh, just yeah. because of, of all of right. that software. Um, but uh, sounds like loud and clear post transition here. Whoa! Dun, dun, dun. Th this, this doesn't happen. This isn't supposed to happen, everyone. Right? No, I mean, did you did Something's you have to fail. like right? Yeah. Well, no. Did you have earlier any kind of technical issue? Because it's Saturday. Right. So if you um, had one technical issue yeah, today, yeah. then that's it. Um, then we're done for the day. Yeah, so. um, I did. I had problems with a microphone earlier today. So that was it. Yep. Okay. Everything <laughs> yeah, makes sense uh, now. Uh, when what? you were talking to uh, Kira, mm -hmm. she was muted right, for right, a minute. Yep, and then yep, you were yep. to, see, that's exactly. It's Saturday. You had Saturday, one technical we issue. Have our so thing. we're moved on. It's all good. Um, so, yeah. How y'all doing? How you doing, John? So good so far. I've been, you know, since I've got travel coming up soon, I've been projecting stuff. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, uh, incidentally, if you use a non-water-based, uh, like, volatile orga organic compound kind of spray paint, okay, um, if you get it too close to styrofoam, it melts it. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I have yeah. seen this. Yes. Well, <laughs> that was kind of the experiment. It's like, how far away can I be to spray paint styrofoam? Before it then starts to erode the styrofoam, so it it went so, really yeah. really well. I got I got like three sides of this styrofoam box covered, so good, that's great. And then on like the other side, I kind of went too close, mm. but I came back like 15 minutes later, and there was like cratering. I'm like, uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> like whoops, not <laughs> that's good, not good, <laughs> not good, not good. But it's, I mean, it's literally an old Omaha Steaks cooler oh, okay. thing yeah, that yeah. they food in. So mm -hmm. the fact that it, it gets created, I don't care. Yeah. I just, I, I, it's mm -hmm. really, really thick styrofoam, so it's mm -hmm. great for me to store drinks, and it will keep stuff cold for like two or three days. Nice. Even, even in like 60, 70 degree weather. So mm -hmm. it's, it's fairly effective, and I've got like four more of them. Okay, <laughs> so, nice. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, you know, my sister and brother-in-law kept sending me Omaha steaks, so I like I, I I hate throwing out a really good styrofoam cooler. Mm -hmm. So it's like I kept them. Yeah, <laughs> like crap. <laughs> Should start selling them at flea sale, flea markets, and things. Be like, hey, hey, want one? Yeah, there we go. Yes, yes. Bye, I have I have many of these things. <laughs> yeah, um, and then waterproofing things. Okay, like ran through two uh, two large cans of like heavy duty canvas waterproofing. Okay. Because I have a giant bag to put like gear and stuff in, so I mm. might want to make sure I waterproofed it. Because unwaterproofed eight ounce cotton canvas oh. is essentially a sponge. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so if you waterproof it, it not, it's not so much of a sponge. Yeah. So, gotcha. Yeah. So. <sighs> wow. Quite a day. Quite yeah. a day. Quite quite something to to be involved in. Yeah. 
I mean, not as not as like impressive as your van, but like it's the little <laughs> things that I have to do. I don't have a van to do things with. Sure. <laughs> um, cool. Um, Steve, how's your week been? Uh, it's been it's been fine. The new job is going well. I'm having a good time. Um, I'm, I'm I'm tasting wines. Ooh, Ooh nice expensive red wines. And mm-hmm. I come home and I find out. And I look myself in, in the mirror, and it's like my teeth are all like. Black, like you know, <laughs> like, like I'm in feudal Japan. You know, where your oh, eyes are all bloodshot and stuff. <laughs> you know, or it was blacking your teeth. I think you look pretty. And um, but yeah, it's been going pretty well. Good. You know, preparing for today. Mm-hmm. Had having a lot of fun with Hong Kong today. Yeah, Thank you, all, everybody. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so doing well. Doing cool. Fine. Glad to hear it. Um, I had a good week. Um, been trying to um, do less of the late night YouTube. Thing, um, to try to kind of rearrange my life a little bit, so I'm not, you know, oh gosh, that was a nice YouTube video. It's three o'clock in the morning. Uh, <laughs> so, but see, we'll they were cats, that. right? They were cats. It was Genshin Impact. Cats. What can I do? Genshin Impact. <laughs> well, I, I I went through all my photos, mm. and I, like sometimes if I watch something like you're talking about top tens, mm-hmm. I'll go things through top tens and pick out things maybe I haven't seen. So. Mm. I went through all my photos of the screenshots I took of top tens, and I pulled up one called Rants Zero One. Didn't okay. quite realize it was a four episode four episode OVA. I was Rants. Oh, oh, Rants. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So oh, I'm dear. just like I'm going through, and I don't even know what top ten I pulled that out of. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna watch this, and I started watching. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Oh, like one thirty in the morning. I'm like, oh god, no. <laughs> yeah. So I can appreciate that late night video. You know, sometimes they get unexpected results. <laughs> oh dear. Speaking of unexpected, let's dig into the weekly dig um, and talk about anime. We're gonna be. This is gonna be a fun one um, because we're gonna talk about Neo Tokyo. Oh, yes. A.K.A. Manie Manie or Mani Mani. I'm not Mani, sure. Mani. Yeah. Um, and um, this is a an anthology anime film that was um, where it's basically three short films, each by a different director. Boy, you can tell. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. And it's all about, it's, it's, they're all about different things. Um, so let's dig in, um, if I can. There we go. Um, because this first one's really effing weird. Um, oh, like they're not all. But it's true. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, I, this one is the most abstract. Yeah. Of all of them, it's the most sort of symbol symbolical. Symbolical. The most abstract of <laughs> the three, um, because we zoom in on like this background of this open mouth door. Um, and then we see this weird, giant, mm, crumbling megalopolis city thing, which has a circus tent in it, which we zoom in on, and then we go into, um, the, the labyrinth segment by Rintaro, um, and we see this little girl running around this bizarre house. Now, Rintaro, famously, um... His first major thing was Space Pirate Captain Harlock in 78. Um, and it didn't look like this. It did not look no. like this yeah. much. No. Um, but he was, he, he, he is known for doing um, like remarkable visual things, right? Well, we all watch Arcadia. Right. right. right? Yeah, that was Rontaro, I believe. Yeah. So you, you, you get, you get that, that, that weird thing. Um, he also did Metropolis um, and some other stuff. So yeah. Um, well, it still reminds, and when we watched it, it still yeah. like gave me a heavy vibe of, um, of like the night is long walk on girl, yeah, and, like the Tommy Galaxy, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. like just because of like the the odd visuals and a lot of the juxtaposition of things going on in the background, where you're like, what the hell's happening? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, and it's just it's interesting too because it manages to hit like just that right level of of where. The visuals are so heavily stylized, just to the point where you can still recognize them. 
right? Yes. Like you, that, that's a leg, that's an arm, that's all that kind of stuff. It's not just so weird and abstract that you can't tell, but it's like just on that edge there, um, which I like a lot. Yeah, it's not Rhapsody of Blue from Fantasia, right? Where it's like just yeah. all this color and sound and things going on. Where you're like, yeah. uh, I get where you're going, but I have no <laughs> idea what I'm looking at. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, and yeah, and I mean, story wise, it is very much almost like a fever dream. Um, right. of this little girl, oh from, yeah, running through this house, and uh, there's this giant uh, clock, um, which she interacts with uh, for a little while until she goes through the clock into labyrinth land um, with a creepy um, uh, creepy clown, a.k.a. a clown. Yeah, her, her cat kind of also feels sort of Cheshire Cat-ish. Yes, yeah. very much so. You know, because it's got that kind of, it's not just a cat the way it's acting. It's just like, mm -hmm. ah, okay. Yep, yep. Um, it knows what's going on, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, Being that it's a cat, it means it's out to dominate humankind and destroy yeah. the world. So, I mean, pretty much. Yeah. It's just natural. It's what cats do. Exactly. Um, uh, yeah, and so they, they go through the looking glass into this labyrinth, um, which is maybe outside, maybe not. Who knows? Um, and you get all this, this, this weird... Um, you have all the shadows that go through um, that appear to be... You, know, you can hear them, you can see the shadows, you can't see the actual creatures. Um, and this is the weird thing about this, is that um, none of this really has a clear symbolic through line. You know, it's not like, this is clearly about loneliness. Uh, right. Oh, wait. Actually. Sorry, just realized a thing. Um, I think it's all about loneliness. <laughs> uh, but, point being, lots of varied imagery throughout the entire thing. Um, um, and it just appears to be weird visuals, um, for the entire thing all the way through. Um, oh yeah, and then Evil Ghost Train. I don't know. Um, so are, are you positing that the, it's, it's a little girl, little girl's overactive imagination as a result of isolation? So she ha actually has a cat, Yeah. but that she is, as a lonely child, she's sort of imagining a... Yeah greater and grander world than what is contained in her everyday mundane house. Exactly. Um, and yeah. pretty much everything in here could be seen as a symbol for loneliness, right? Not seeing hmm. the people, just seeing like the collar and all that kind of stuff, seeing all of the people marching through, but not them actually paying attention to her, um, right. all that kind of stuff. It will kind of work. Um, social isolation. Social isolation, exactly. Um, so she's, she's living in this weird house kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Um, uh, yeah, and then we get the Night Parade of a Thousand Demons with all of the uh, 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 things going through. Um, also, Giant Roger was very much like Nerarian, where they do a Night Parade of a Thousand Demons, the uh, anime. So cool. it's just like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, and uh, it should also be pointed out oh my gosh, the budget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it is, there is constant motion action stuff going on. Yeah. Oh, here's some money. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Just, yeah do the thing. Yeah. I don't care. Oh, you need some more? Yeah, here you go. Mm hmm Yeah, I don't know how they managed it. Um, cause... Well, I mean, for the, for the duration that it is, you know, it's not super, super huge. Mm -hmm. But when you dump that budget, I mean, is, was this intent to be a, even though it's part of a, you know, triptych, mm -hmm. is it supposed to be a prestige piece to be like, right. look what we can do. Mm -hmm. Look what I've done. Look at the thing. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? That that gets sold on for other other project attention. Mm -hmm. I mean, clearly, I mean, all three of these, these directors are massive names. Um, right, right. You know, so there's no question that they would have gotten the, the cash. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I think it was kind of like, we can, you know, we can ask for the money and we'll get it, so why not? <laughs> um, Wish I could do that. I know, exactly. <laughs> uh, <yeah>, make Akira. <laughs> then we'll talk. <laughs> Basically, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please. Just keep the funding coming and I'll try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I can draw stick figures. There we go. Um, I think $1.7 million a month might really cover me in the effort to try and make an Akira. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'll make some progress. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Probably pretty likely out of the country, but you know, still, <laughs> exactly. I'll make some progress somehow. 
Oh dear. Um, and then the curtain comes up on Running Man um, by Yoshiaki Kawajiri, um, aka Yoshiaki Ninja Scroll Kawajiri. Um, yeah. Plus other, you know, major works. Um, probably the, the, the big one anime wise, particularly for American fans. Um, and this is um, probably better, uh, the, the most recognized of all of these, yeah. um, because it showed on MTV back in yeah. the day. So Wicked yeah. Television had this as a segment. Um, which makes sense. I mean, this is, this is the most um, sci-fi, self-contained, you know, just little story. It is, it's it entirely is metal. Of, yeah. It is the stuff of AMVs everywhere. Yes. It's like, yeah. you, you, oh, I got a dark synthwave song. Here we go. Yep. All right, man. <laughs> this is the one. Um, so I, I mean, ne- not having had cable then either, I never got to see it on the Yeah, you me either. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what's yeah. funny is that the first time I actually saw this segment, I thought it was not anime but French. Oh, like I can see French, that. French yeah. animation. Totally. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 This definitely has that that style to it. You're absolutely right. Um, Were you watching a dub where they just kept going, ha, 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 in the background? <laughs> like, oh, sometimes that confuses die. people. Um, speaking of, dub on this is interesting. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to watch the English dub of this, it is, uh, particularly of this segment, it is, um, would you say a lot of flat affect for um, the detective and uh, not yeah. so much on the racer. <laughs> Like, okay, you know, save the vocal cords a little bit. Um, but, um, I mean, story wise, <laughs> this is Road to Hell. Yeah. You, you know, it, it's yep. obsession leads, to, leads in, in, in bad directions. That is basically the, the, the whole approach there. Um, and um, um, so, yeah, it's, it's this. Pretty pure sci-fi story. I could totally imagine reading this in Analog right. uh, back in the day right. um, um, about just somebody who is, uh, has become one with his machine. Um, and it's well, I read, I read a brief snippet on it was mm. that I, I knew, but I didn't think about, mm. where it's like, oh, this is a really intense sport. I'm like, duh. Right. Um, <laughs> that, you know, there's a lot of like, you know, super pressure to do this. Mm. And our main character, in addition to the super pressure... He's actually psychic. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. So that makes okay. I'm like, well, damn. Okay, I must have been very sleepy at the time <laughs> watching this because it's like that makes much more sense that nobody else is like having an aneurysm trying to drive their cars mm-hmm. and how he's like got this like crazy thing kind of going on where he can influence things in an unusual fashion mm-hmm. where it's like, oh, like that. that makes total. That adds way to the sci-fi part of it than just mm-hmm. the mechanics of like it's a big race right <laughs> like damn it mm-hmm. um i and, couldn't see the forest for the trees <laughs> yeah. uh, and you scared jody in in the chat is pointing out the sound design in this is very much on point um you know you yeah. you feel the race you feel kind of his intensity yeah um all that stuff is is absolutely absolutely there in this um Akira has been described um, as an experience of apocalypse, um, and I think this short is very much kind of a, you know, an experience of, I don't even know what, but it's an experience, right? It, it's not yeah. meant to be like, here's a beginning, middle, end plot. You're, you're in this person's just kind of emotional space yeah. for this. Um, as uh, things slightly go... anxiety inducing. Yes. Yeah. So you're watching, where you're just kind of like, I feel very anxious because well, I don't when... know. From moment to moment, what the hell is going to go wrong? Yeah, but you know it's going to go wrong. <laughs> so when he's like, sitting, he's sitting in his little car, and he's he, yeah, he's at he's in the the, the, the warehouse sitting in his car, and, yeah. he's, and he's concentrating, and, and the things are starting to float up yeah. around him, and he's tensing, and you're just mm-hmm. like going, and the, the reporter, you know, the cigarette drops out of his mouth, and I'm like, you know, if I was the reporter, I would have been like, oh hell, I'm getting to the phone right now, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking this story, but. You know, he just he just starts getting more and more intense with this, this mm-hmm. thing, and he's yeah. got this built-in pressure on him that is so much that mm-hmm. my read on this on this segment is that mm-hmm. that he's been winning this this race for mm-hmm. ten years, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. people are just dying left and right, and this is a race that you know you voluntarily decided to do, mm-hmm. and the stress is like each time in order to win, you just have to live, mm-hmm. and so you know he's he developed 
these powers mm. is because he's just like, well, I'm, I'm forcing to evolve so that I can deal with what's going on around me. Yeah. yeah. And then he finally figures out, well, I've gotten to the point of, you know, the final stage of my evolution and I'm going after myself. And then mm-hmm. everything just goes horribly <laughs> and i did not know that so you know not that i would try but i did not realize that someone's mouth could extend that wide true yes mm-hmm. um um i hope never to find out yeah yeah mm-hmm. let's let's not try and go there yeah exactly um um but yeah and the interesting thing is for a um for a short film that again has this very um direct storyline um it Hold your attention for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Um, like, even when you're like, okay, I know I, this is my third time watching it. I know I get it. Like, I'm still sucked in every time of what, 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 what what's happening. Um, yeah, the visuals are very compelling. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the use of light in you know, sound yeah. like, like an yeah. artist at, at, a, at a museum. <laughs> the use of light. <laughs> but no, it's, it's you know, like, they, yeah. they purposely put it at night. They, they put this yeah. thing here, and there's things that oh. are muddled, right? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, and yeah. muddled, and so you're just like, it's just, 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 it just, you know, John's what you're saying just adds to, hi, more stress, hi, more anxiety, <laughs> hey, guess what? Yep. More. Mm-hmm. Have fun. <laughs> you're out of For those who walk. said less, be damned. <laughs> more, more, I say. Um, they did a thing on Batman the Animated Series where all of the background um, oh, paintings yeah. were done on blackboards. That's right. Yeah. To give it... I wonder if they did that here. Oh. This is a very dark tone for everything. Yeah. It definitely feels like that may have yeah. been the, the approach. Um, yeah, I, I certainly know for Batman, it gives you that sort of heavy, oppressed kind of yeah. feeling mm-hmm. weight coming down on you. And yep. we certainly know this guy's under a lot of weight, <laughs> psychologically, so yeah, that's exactly. perfect sense. Um, and you can definitely see this as a. Um, um, a story about obsession, um, about pushing yourself so hard that you push yourself to a point that you, that you, um, going past that kind of destroys you, basically. Yeah. Um, uh, where you're just, uh, you're, uh, you're no longer human in a, in a fundamental way. Um, uh, because, as, you know, to your point, things don't go well. Um, no. Uh, yeah, and the, and it's hard to believe this all came out of watching NASCAR fans. I know, uh, you know, really, you it's, know, it's you know, amazing. Yeah, amazing. I mean, this is pretty much NASCAR. Yeah, pretty much. People cheering in the crowd, <laughs> accidents, people dying left and right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's, yeah. it's NASCAR. It is. It is. Um, 22nd century NASCAR, pretty much. Um, uh, and then we move on to the order to stop construction. Oh. <laughs> I love this short film so much. Um, um, uh, I love the fact that it looked like Akira. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Cool. <laughs> and I wonder why that would be. Um, mm. The director of here, Otomo of Akira. I believe this was the thing he made after Akira. Like, timeline-wise. I think this was the next thing. Wow. So, Which would make sense why all the character design is mm-hmm. like, oh, Akira, what do yep. you know? It's, 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 it's just that. Um... And so, yeah, you have this, uh, this Japanese guy coming into this, uh, this swamp where you find out that the uh, Japanese megacorp that he, uh, he works for has this robotic construction facility that's constructing this city, you know, out in this swamp because tax breaks, basically. Right. <laughs> um, I said at the time, like, is this Brasilia? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> build a giant mega city and people will eventually move into it? Right? That's, that's, that's no worry. Um, um, and let's get this out of the way. Um, possibly the most racist caricature of a Japanese person ever drawn by Japanese people. Um, yeah. <laughs> slanty eyes, buck teeth, horn rimmed glasses. It's the whole nine yards. Um, and, and again, clearly they are kind of making fun of the stereotype. Um, they're, they're playing around with the classic Japanese salaryman um, uh, uh, thing. Um, yeah, yeah, all the way down to the pith helmet. Like, <laughs> not really. 
Come on. It's a jungle. I should look jungly. Oh, <laughs> shit. Dude, really? It's, it's like it's I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go over to like the super expensive travel store and buy all my my new Gucci stuff. Like you yeah. can. Like a Johnny Weiss model or 1930s Tarzan movie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah that's why I love the reveal of this because they're, they're going through all the jungle, going through all the jungle, and you're, you got the city, and then there's just you know water gushing through buildings and trees yeah. and the top of it. Oh, jeez. Like this is not going well, um, uh, and yeah, and so and he, it's and he not comes, a city I'd want to live in. No, <laughs> sure as hell, <laughs> absolutely. Um, oh look, it's the five o'clock gusher. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, screw this. That bonobo stole my lunch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Give me back my damn bento, you bastard! <laughs> um, and so yeah, and so in he comes. Um, I, I love the, the guys he comes with where he's trying to explain all this stuff and then all of a sudden he sees all of his um, uh, luggage get thrown in and then <laughs> they drive, off they drive. Wait, 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 wait. No, we're, we're, goodbye. <laughs> because they were the smart ones. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, I mean, we have a clear indication this has happened before. So it's yeah. like, uh, huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, we're not going to stick around and see what happened to the other guy either. Nope. Um... And then you get kind of your first hint of what's going on here when the uh, the guy very imperiously kind of throws his luggage at the robot um, and doesn't bother to answer his plane identification number. Um, and so, you know, the arm gun comes out. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh, it's oh, one okay. of those. <laughs> um, but, thankfully, he says the identification number. So everything's cool. Everything's fine. So I love this part about how, like, everything, they built this giant failed city in the middle <laughs> of the jungle, right? And there's all this tech around it. Mm-hmm. And this, this one robot is just like, yeah, I got an extension cord. I can go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, so, they're all tethered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, well, so, I mean, if you had a lot of footwork, you could shut this down. Just go pull the through. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there you go. And just, just find the trigger. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um... It should also be pointed out, um, this is before Evangelion. So these are not, you know, the, the cable plugs. Ooh, not a reference uh, to that. Uh, I was like, oh, no, they, no, no, they're not doing that. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely much more lighthearted uh, for now. Uh, yeah. After the previous for, for story. For the moment. <laughs> um, and so you, you see all of the, everything is falling apart. Um, of course, Robot just disappears. Um, uh, and, yeah, and this is where you pan over. To the, and again, black comedy, very much black comedy, as you pan over to like the scribblings of the previous foreman saying, oh God, they're coming to kill me, basically. Uh, you know, I'm so sorry, Junko. Um, it's like, yeah, okay, this is, this, this is not going to go well. Um, uh, you know, this wonderfully animated uh, visuals of all these robots right. doing all yeah. the things, kind of doing their best. Um, and then we get the... What is the music that's playing here? I always forget. It's um, um, it's it's a it's a uh, famous piece of classical music. Um, it's not Brahms, no. I don't think so. But anyway, you know. They play that in the morning. Um, yes, it's, it's a glorious morning. Um, uh, as we find out that. Um, and I can now hear the music in my head. Yeah, I have, exactly. <laughs> I've got it on a, on a CD somewhere in the yeah. house, and I'm not looking for it. Sorry. Me too. Yeah. I'll figure it <laughs> out later. Um, and, uh, and so it, the, the, the basic premise is that he cannot stop construction until he has done a complete site inspection. Um, that, is, that is kind of the, the, the rule of the thing. And so he's being forced to watch everything fall apart around him um, as he's, uh, uh, he spends like this multiple-day inspection and everything. Um, um, done in that wonderful Akira way, where, again, it is all attention yeah. to detail um, of all the things going on. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, and we, we see things are, are not great. The um, love of piping. Large yeah, piping pipes. conduits <laughs> and stuff. Uh, yeah, um, also, I, I do appreciate, like, one of the, one of the little things, you know, you, you also just see, like, a little hazard like tape around places, you know, those <laughs> yeah. signs and such. Which you know? <laughs> is like not useful anymore. Um, never useful, no. probably. 
Um, Not on this construction site, no. <laughs> for sure as hell. Um, and it goes on, and it goes on, and it goes on. Um, and uh, seeing his, his breakfast. Peer against, peer, mor- peer against morning mood. Thank you. Okay. Peer again. Um, uh, and his breakfast. Oh, yeah. Starts out okay. Starts out fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and so, you know, the, the, the slow descent into madness um, as everything is just completely falling apart. Um, so, let's get this, let's, you know, get this kind of out of the way. The Japanese salaryman in a massive organization that he cannot control, completely out of his depth, forced to do things that he can't really have any control over, um, driven to madness. Right? Like, it's very much the Japanese working experience parody. Um... (laughs) Which is and funny. going and going from starting out as a sort of whole person to then the things that he's fed are parts of components of machines. Yep. Well, as no, if he, he is, was he a cog in the mm-hmm. machine. Yep. <laughs> like oh. Yep. And also, you know, the included idea of it's slowly killing him. Mm-hmm. Oh well, there's that too. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um. Um, and it even, um, um, you know, comes up in the ending, spoiler alert, um, where he finally decides, he finally knows what he has to do, and he goes off to do it in Grand Samurai fashion, as we right, pointed out, yeah. right? It's the, 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 yeah. the, the Japanese spirit, um, and we find out that even that is futile. <laughs> Can't beat the system. Like, oh, by one the way, small man against. Back up again. I, ju- I just, I, oh, yeah. oh. how many years till retirement? Oh, oh God. Yeah, um, it, this is, I think, Otomo at his best because it has all of that. Because um, Akira also has, you know, it has some some light moments in it, um, and but it definitely has that. Um, sardonicness to it, uh, that bite to its storytelling, which I think is very much, you know, there. I realize I just said that Akira is not Otomo's best. Um, you know what I mean. Um, right. I, I think he's operating on firing on all cylinders here, and it just condenses down his tone so wonderfully. Um, it's um, it's just, just really cool. And it's also interesting kind of in contrast to the other ones where you have very abstract, very kind of... Um, uh, tonal right and it's much more like a right. grounded you know people in an environment doing things this could have been filmed with a special effects budget right live right. action but uh definitely a very interesting very interesting kind of a, yeah boy that, that is an Akira. Akira yeah yeah right. <laughs> um so yeah yeah it's a it's a it's a remarkable little thing uh and then there is kind of a um um, a final segment, which I will not spoil if anyone wants to see it. There's some other stuff kind of wrapping up some other other, other bits from earlier in, in the movie. Um, any other thoughts from y'all about Neo Tokyo? It's a good drinking game. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, um, it, it's it's a wonderful showpiece. I mean, if yeah. you're it, I yeah. mean, if you're looking to derive great meaning from this, you're 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 not. It's, mm-hmm. it's it's fairly to me this is more about it, it's not it, it does while it does tell a story it's more about look at the art look at the tone mm-hmm. look at, yeah you know, this is more of just about how you're supposed to feel as you know said in chat you know about the, cool. the sound the <laughs> audio or various things and then mm-hmm. like you know visuals like this mm-hmm. and you know you're just supposed to be captured by the feeling of it you're not supposed to be mm-hmm. captured by the by, by the story of Mm-hmm. Right, and just sort of just here's the experience of three very good animator directors, and um, who are allowed to have a budget and allowed to say, yeah. Someone said, just don't tell me, do what you do, just don't yep. tell me. Here's the money, just do yeah. it. Yeah, surprise me, so yeah. we can open this up at the Cannes Film Festival. <laughs> um, I, I, I think it was great to watch the end of Oncon Six, <laughs> where we were like, oh, what? Okay, cool. This is good. Wow, this is insane. Yeah. 
Yeah, when good three that. of us were watching it, you, you were just like, what? what? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, just watching the racing part. I'm yeah. like, what in the hell? The clowns and racing? And now we're on to Akira. What? <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah. Did they not match any thematic elements to this thing at all? No, no. <laughs> not the least. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, was, good, was, good, there, okay. was there a continuous plot? Was there a U2 the Watcher saying, "In this universe, is it?" No, no, here it is. Yep. No. Mm-hmm. Was I, there like a, "Hey, let's do a thing that talks about you know the uniquely human condition"? Maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> they all Perhaps. three do have something that is that touches on the uniquely human condition, <laughs> but. Not, I think, by any purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it definitely feels like, you know, are you going to go to Katsuhiro Otomo and say, now here's the story I want you to tell? Right. right? You try. <laughs> <It's> like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> or Intaro, you know, hey, we've got to make all this fit. Like, you really need to be a team yeah. player here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we need you all to come together in one room. We're going to hash this out. No. <laughs> no. Not the point. He's doing the thing. Uh, he's doing the thing. I'm doing. The thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a it, it's a really cool ride. Um, I also like it for the fact that um, some short films feel like they are more set pieces than they are holistic um, stories or experiences for you to kind of pull something from. And each one of these, I feel like you can you can you can meditate on. You know, you can you can extract meaning from um, right. e- um, each of these on some level, um, instead of just feeling like um, um, I'm thinking back to some of the uh, like National Film Board of Canada short animation films. I'm like, well, that that's definitely animation. <laughs> I have no idea what it's supposed to feel now. Some <laughs> something moved, but yeah, it's, it's not live action. That's for sure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. So yeah, really, really cool. Um, all right, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back to talk about some more modern anime in a little bit. <laughs> 